Selecting the right grip for the job is important to ensure the safety of the workers and prevent damage to the wire. Although the overall purpose of each grip is the same, the type of wire they're used on and their function can be different. Here's a situation where the wrong grip was used on number four racer, destroying the wire. Not only did it rip the aluminum strands apart, it also caused the wire behind the grip to basket. When selecting the proper grip, consider these three factors. The type of wire you're using, the wire diameter, and the maximum working load. OSHA states that grips should only be used for their design purpose and should never exceed the manufacturer's working load. These four are the most common grips that we use in our industry. This grip has a single V contour, which provides three points of contact and is designed for lightweight, small diameter bare wire and cable, such as this number six solid copper. Next is a grip with a double V contour. It provides four points of contact for greater gripping pressure and proper alignment. It has a curved jaw, which increases the gripping power. The lower part of the grip has a vertical angle, providing a stronger hold, making it ideal for guy wire and extra high strength cables and conductors, such as this 3 8 guy wire. This grip has a rounded contour, which maximizes gripping power and minimizes conductor damage at the same time, making it ideal for bare aluminum and copper conductors, such as this number four Acer. Last is a grip that has an eccentric contour. As you can see, the jaws have multiple ridges, which gives it more gripping pressure. It should only be used on steel strand, such as this 3 8 guy wire. For a complete list of the types of wire you can use for each grip, contact the manufacturer. NLC recommends organizing the grips in your truck according to their different uses to make it easier to find the right grip for the job.